Hello darlings, Anna here for Tuck Up TV. I have two incredibly wet and dirty horses. And when I say I've got two very dirty horses, one poos so much, she could poo for England at the Poo Olympics. I can go in there to pick out one and she'll be doing another one while I'm picking up the first one. Sometimes I even catch it. I mean, what the hell is all that about? I have tried every bedding out there. This is the latest one I'm going to try and I'm just going to document my week for you to help you see the difference because I've sampled a bag of this. This is Abios. I actually chucked one in with my shavings and it's been fantastic this week. So I have gutted both the stables and I am putting down completely new beds of Abios and we'll see how this week goes. Here it is, wake up to Abios. I think I've been calling it Arboise, but I think it's called Abios. Wake up to Abios, the choice of champions. So if it's good enough for the Rio Olympic teams, then I'm sure it's good enough for us. And just reading the instructions on the back, it says, start with a clean stable, need approximately eight bales, dampen the bed by spraying with a hose. Ah, right, okay, so here we have our new Abios bed. Um, we have dampened this one. We've put in the bales and in between every bale we've done a spray. So, and just to show you what it looks like consistency wise, it's firm, but it's, it's like chaff really, or chaff chaff. It's literally that consistency. I'll pick some up for you. There you go. It's literally like, looks like that. So apparently, I've never been a fan of deep littering, but with this, you um, pick up the poos and all the wheeze and what have you sink right down below and it creates like a crust. So the top stays nice and dry, this lovely dry consistency, and you dig it out once at weekends, which with my 5am muck outs will be an absolute treat. So let's see um, how it And it says here, remove any droppings twice or three times a day, lightly rake the top to keep its shape. Um, and then every five to 10 days, depending on horse or pony, or mine, that'll be definitely every five days, rake the dry bedding to one side, remove the saturated material underneath, and then top up with a fresh bale of these, which is on average half to one bale a week, um, which is really good. So, um, I have been chucking easily I, with the pellets, about three bags of pellets in a week at least um, and maybe two bags of shavings. So I actually think, yes, this is about £11, just under £11 a bale, but if I end up putting one in a week, I'll actually be saving um, and actually to be able to go to the muck heap just once with the with the wheelbarrow per stable will be an absolute joy. Um, so yes, let's see what this week brings. Which I really hope it does because I feel like I'm having an affair with the muck heap, darling. Honestly, I see it all the time. Often when my husband's at home waiting for me, I'm there at the muck heap. So here it is. I've just done my lift of the bottom layer. It took just two wheelbarrows. All of this that you see here is bone dry. And this is before I'm going to put the new bale on top as well. I cannot believe it. This has been just fantastic. To give you an idea of the depth of it, I'll try and put my foot in. Oh, there's my foot and there's the bank. So it is a lovely, thick, dry, white bed still after one week. So this has been a typical wheelbarrow, not even a wheelbarrow's worth, and it is literally pure poop. Hardly any bedding at all is thrown away because for some weird reason, it just does not stick to the poop. So you literally end up with a wheelbarrow and it's mainly just poop. This stuff is just fantastic. I'm just gonna do one trip to the muck heap now. Amazing, it's been a game changer. And like I say, I have really mucky horses this stable actually belongs to a very wet horse. She poops, 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 very wet. And on top of that, because of the weather, they've also spent an entire day indoors yesterday and pretty much most of Tuesday. So it's not even like a normal, you know, they've been going out, it's been getting a break for 12 hours. 
it's been used quite a lot this bed and look it's white and I'm about to put the new bale on which is weird because it doesn't need it but I'm going to do it because that's what the instructions say and see how another week goes but I cannot recommend this stuff enough as my jumper says just chill it has been the easiest week of mucking out with half the trips to the muck heap and ultimately for me my beds have stayed dry and clean I have my glamorous assistant Carly and Ginny to help us just you won't believe how much comes out of this packet would you Carly no, it's, it's just been superb this week all the mucking out and everything piles it's still coming piles. so just look that is how much comes out of just one bale and all we're going to do now is it's like two lumps actually isn't it yeah it is like two, like two lumps bales. literally and all we're going to do now is just spread it out just to completely refresh it but i can't say enough this horse is the dirtiest horse in the world she has spent two days out of the last seven indoors as well and this bed has not got wet has not got dirty it has just been amazing so we're just going to spread it out now onto the top layer and it's really quite hard to push out as well isn't it it's heavy, it's heavy. um you're meant to sprinkle um a gallon which we're not too sure how much a gallon is but you meant to sprinkle a gallon along the top so we just give it a squirt with the hose and i have with my other horse not done that this week on purpose just to see what the difference is and actually you do need to do it otherwise they do tend to kick the bed around so it gives it a bit of weight and according to the packaging it does um help um open up the <coughs> porous properties of abiosa hello Ginny. hello Ginny, is this bed awesome yes <laughs> Ginny rates it so there you go so there is our bed i just cannot believe it it's amazing here comes carly and Ginny with the hose pipe and we're just literally gonna give it a oh got my give it a little squirt that's all we're gonna do just a little squirt and apparently it just activates the water drinking properties of the bed. But I have found that it does help to weigh it down as well. It's not wet within seconds, it's not wet. And that's literally all we do to it. About that, isn't it? Yep. Yep, that's it. That'll do. And that's it, voila. So there we have it, Abiosa bedding. It has completely changed the game for us and our pooping, weeing horse machine. So if you've got a dirty one, you need this. It's fantastic. Bye, darling.